Hello everybody, it's Lily Medium and this is my intro video for my beginners year mentorship. I'm super, super excited to be offering this class and I wanted to talk a little bit more in detail about this class. It is an interactive class, so we do meet weekly and we practice, we share, we have Q&As. Uh, I think what is extremely important in a class is to understand that we have to feel safe with each other because with spiritual development we're healing and we're releasing so i like to make sure that we all uh, respect each other's opinions and it's a safe place for us to develop and grow and if in a certain class there is something personally going on with one of your classmates we we acknowledge it and we support each other because it's very important to be successful spiritually if you're successful personally so we we understand and we know first starting off the ethics within the class what happens in the class stays in the class confidentiality is extremely important because again we're vulnerable to each other the way that the class is structured there's a topic every month and there's subtop topics through the week based on that topic. We do meet on Zoom, which is very user-friendly and very easy. Um, and I'm gonna go through the topics and how I outlined the class and the development. With my beginner psychic mediumship class, probably for the first seven months, we're working psychically. We're working psychically. Um, if, obviously, we start to develop, and I mean, the students start to develop mediumistic abilities and start to see spirit, I do nourish that. So we kind of leave space to just kind of go with the flow. Every class seems to have a theme or a commonality that they've had and it's very interesting and beautiful to see that unfold meaning like maybe uh, a lot of the students lost their mothers or their fathers or certain family members in a certain way through a certain illness so on and so forth and that kind of bonds the class together there is a private classroom and there is a private chat just for the students every class is recorded that recording is uploaded and available to you forevermore we do have handouts of what the plan of action is for that particular month and any material that is provided to you for that particular month we actually break up into guides what is called guides in facebook and we give you that based on that month so it is separate so you can go into one particular month and just focus on what is bought up for that month so first we start off understanding the spirit body it's important to understand the spirit body Everybody talks about the importance of taking a shower and, uh, you know, physical hygiene. Well, the spirit body also needs hygiene in my philosophy. That's why I call it spiritual hygiene. Our spirit body is very connected to our emotional mind. And within that space, we hold a lot of trapped emotions sometimes due to, due to trauma and different things that we've experienced, right? So we need to understand and know you know how does the spirit body exist around us what is a magnetic body magnetic body spirit body or field all the same thing it is proven that on earth the earth has a magnetic body okay there's seven spheres um you know within the earth uh energy centers as well as seven chakras so everything kind of completes itself and is connected but we we learn about the spirit body about sitting in the power what is sitting in the power why do we sit in the power which is not a meditation it is a practice um, and all of this again is through my eyes my view and my experience all right it's been about 15 years now that i've been developing and working and so i bring that to you guys and as i change i change things i don't get comfortable i change things up like oh my god okay yeah let me revise that let me you know change that because I, I saw it and I did it and I saw the result, but I never knew how to explain it or put it, you know, into, um, you know, on paper. So we talk about the spirit body. We talk about the bodies within the spirit body. How do we stay balanced and how do we keep the hygiene good in our spirit body so that our artwork field is nice and fluid so that spirit could flow in and out. Energetic impressions can flow in and out, whether you're reading psychically or mediumistically. The second month we focus on... Um, the, our faculties, which is clear hearing, feeling, seeing, and knowing, okay? These are um, the areas in which we receive information, whether we're reading psychically, mediumistically, or even sometimes doing healings. So it's very important. And each of those faculties are connected to a chakra. So that month we work on our clairs. We work on understanding the chakras that are connected to those clairs and also spiritual hygiene 
Uh, so this is basically going in depth into what I was mentioning in month one, which is, you know, just really keeping our spirit body fluid. And that involves us healing and understanding, you know, what we have to heal. Because a lot of times we don't understand even what we have to heal. So then we move to the third month and we start working with, um, working with our clairs. So we introduce you to the clairs in month two. Uh, you know, we work with the chakras. We tell you, you know, which chakras are connected. And then we begin to really strengthen um, those areas of feeling, hearing, seeing, and knowing, which we call clairs. Clear feeling is clear sentence. Clear audience is, is clear hearing. Wait, clear feeling is clear sentence. Clear hearing is clear audience. Clear seeing is clairvoyance. And clear knowing is clear cognizance. So you go into depth and detail for that month within um, those areas and you gain better, stronger understanding of what that looks like for you. How does it work for you? It might be the same to explain in the same uh, way we receive the information, but everyone develops it differently and receives it the way that they receive it based on their own experience. For month four, we work on understanding our guides, getting to know our guides, understanding that guides are with us as well as our ancestors to help us in our spiritual journey, as well as our personal journey. And how do we set up a sacred space so that we're able to sit and feel our ancestors and feel our guides. And then we set up a water altar, which is a very traditional thing that I do within my, um, my culture, my belief system. It's just so beautiful and so powerful to understand, to do. Uh, the following month we work on understanding what's the difference between psychic and mediumship. A lot of people think there's a big difference, but really in actuality there isn't an understanding that gives you a little bit more confidence and strengthens your you know, um, excitement about saying, hey, I can do this. I know, oh, that was psychic. Oh, that was mediumistic. Oh, how does it feel? What's the difference? What is my psychic space? What is my mediumistic space? How does that look to me? Then on the sixth month, we put it all together. So everything that we've learned from the first month all the way to the sixth month, we put it all together. And when I mean put it all together, we actually start to read each other slowly, but surely we start to just, let's work with our feeling, let's work with our hearing, let's work with our seeing, let's work with our knowing. What does that look like? I look at everybody individually in the class and I coach everybody individually as we're doing this, whether it is in a breakout room or we are in the main room within Zoom, okay? Then we begin to move a little bit more into the readings, right? Um, and then so the following month after, uh, you know, we're in the eighth month, after we begin to read and understand impressions, we start with tarot. So how do you, you know, attune your cards? How do you make them personal to you? How do you pick them? How do you clear them? What are the different spreads you can have? The following month after that, we go into understanding telepathy, trance, and altered states. So what are the difference in those different areas of receiving and sending information? Which at that point, a lot of students will start to experience a lot of very different experiences based on their ancestors and so on and so forth. Okay. Um, then as we continue here, we begin now to really dive into understanding not just this world to read psychically, but also the next, which is moving into mediumship and understanding how do we commune with spirit? How do we commune with our own loved ones? How do we just go out into the spirit world, feel them? Where do we feel them? What is our receiving side? Is it front back? There's no wrong way. It's just your way. And so what I'm trying to do is bring you into your way of receiving and understanding what you're receiving from the spirit side of life now. Now that you have focused on reading souls that are here on this earth plane, let's focus on receiving energetic impressions and move into our mediumship space. And so we continue that all the way till the end of the year, just really working with spirit bringing in spirit, doing exercises, understanding our receiving side, how do we feel, how do we hear, we see, how do we want to know. So basically that sums up my year mentorship for beginners. And again, that is psychic and mediumship. We begin the year with psychically, as you can see, and we end the year mediumistically. Uh, this program then has a spinoff, which is the advanced year mentorship. So once you're done, you can have a second year with me if you would like. And that's a whole other intro video. That's my advanced mediumship program. Or I offer five-week mentorships or 15-week mentorships. So 
you know if you're interested you can just message me i'll leave the links below this youtube video for my facebook as well as an email where you can reach out to me to get more details about this program i am limiting this class to 12 students uh, because I just feel like it's a lot of, especially in the beginning stages of holding the power, it's a lot of power to hold and a lot of collective to have. Um, a lot of collective power builds, guys, so that you understand, builds when you're together. So when you're alone and you're reading, things don't seem so loud. But when you're in a group of 12 people, it seems louder. And I don't want to overwhelm the physical body or what you guys are feeling. Of course, I want you guys to see your potential but we do that slowly in this first year. So that concludes this video. Thank you everyone that has joined to read this video. If you're someone that's beginning your journey, you don't understand anything, you're a baby, you just know that you dream things or you see things or you feel things and you just know there's more to what you know, this is a great place to start. If you're someone that wants to expand your psychic abilities, this is a great piece, place to start. You don't have to want to connect with spirit to be a medium, but this also brings you into the understanding of connecting with spirit for you to be able to um, you know, do mediumistic readings, which is not just reading your soul, um, or shall I say the souls that are here on earth, it's reading the souls of those that are on the other side and becoming the voice for them but if you just want to understand how it feels just to sit with your own loved ones this is a great class to end the year that's what we do so i'm out of here again this is lily medium thank you so much everyone for your support for um almost 15 years now i'm excited let's get it let's start 2023 running bye for now everybody